Frequency domain analysis and body plot for second order differentiator circuit shown here as an active circuit realized with single op amp is discussed. As shown in an earlier video, V out is proportional to second order derivative of input uh, V in with respect to time. So again, uh, V out is negative R2 R square C square and then second uh, derivative of um, V in with respect to time. And uh, if you if we take the Laplace transform from both sides of this equation, we get V out as a function of uh, S domain function is negative R squared C squared S squared and then V n as an S domain function. And when we divide these two, we get the voltage transfer function for this circuit, which is H of S is simply V out divided by V n. And uh, we get to what we anticipated should be because of the second order derivative behavior or functionality, which is negative R2 C2 R square C square S square. Reason I need this because I need to su uh, substitute S with J omega so that I can discuss the frequency domain analysis. So substituting S with J omega. So basically I am limiting myself uh, to vertical axis in the S domain in the S plane complex plane, and then with that, then h of j omega, or simply h of omega, uh, or the transfer function just at uh, j omega becomes uh, negative r square, so it becomes negative r square c square, and then s square, which is j omega square, as a result, becomes simply plus r square c square omega square. Now, uh, it indicates, because it's purely real function, it indicates that the phase of uh, the transfer function, or in voltage transfer function, H phase of H, of, uh, H omega is simply zero radian or degree. So we're not going to talk about that. The only thing we're going to focus is the log scale, 20 log base 10 of magnitude of H omega, which is the magnitude frequency response. And in that case, you can see that if we take the 20 log out of this guy, we have uh, 40 log. So take the 20 log out of R square C square omega square, we get 40 log base 10 of RC. And then we have 40 log base 10 of omega. This is what the magnitude uh, frequency response uh, formula is for this circuit. And as you can see, it indicate that every time omega is increased by 10 times in, in terms of radian per second or frequency, then uh, there is a 40 dB increase. This is referred to as dB. So uh, the dimension or unit for this is dB. So every time frequency is increased by 10 times, there is a value of 40 added to the magnitude of this function or of this uh, transfer function in dB. So uh, I'm going to show it for magnitude body plot like this. A vertical axis is my um, 20 log base 10 absolute value of h omega, which is my magnitude in dB. And uh, x axis is the frequency omega. Of course, I can show it in log scale. For example, uh, as omega, if, if omega is 1 radian per second, 1, then omega 1, uh, log 1 base 10 becomes 0. So we are at the exact value of 40 log RC over 10. So this point here is um, on the y-axis is at the point of 20 log 10 RC. And then if we go 10 times higher than that, um, we get to, let's say, I'm going to show it here. Uh, if it is, let me put it maybe this way, maybe just uh, to be plotting this in a better fashion, I'm going to show the one with color, let's say, blue here. So let's put one here. That's one radian uh, per second. And then let's put 10 here. So I'm going to put 10 here. Um, say here, 10, that's 10 times. So what I expect is I need to go up by 40 dB. So this point here on the y-axis need to be the base value plus 40. So I go 40 dB higher. 
every 10 times increasing the frequency in, in omega, I go 40 dB higher. And then if I go 10 times less, meaning that if I go to, again, I'm showing the x-axis, the omega in log scale. So if I go um, 10 times less to get to, let's say, 0.1, maybe I write it here. So to get to 0.1, then this continues and I go 40 dB lower. So I go 40 dB lower. And uh, this is negative 40, starting from the base value of 20 log 10. Uh, sorry, this is 40 log 10 RC. So this needs a correction here. My bad. This is 40 log 10 RC, as uh, the formula here is showing. So this is 40 log 10. OK, so going back to my blue color here. And uh, uh, this is 40 log 10 going down from the 40 log 10 RC and you can see that every time you reduce the frequency by 10 X then you have to reduce the uh, value on the vertical axis or the magnitude by another 40 dB. That's why we say this slope in this body uh, magnitude plot so this is body magnitude plot and uh, of course it's a frequency domain plot so you would say this slope is basically in this circuit 40 db per decade that means every time decade means 10 times every time the frequencies increase or decrease the magnitude in db is increased or decreased by 40 db and uh, of course uh, when the frequency goes to zero uh, we expect that the transfer function in linear domain is zero but the 20 log zero becomes negative infinity so this keeps going on and uh, the frequency cannot be less than zero. So this keeps going on, and, and as the frequency approaching zero, this uh, line on the vertical axis approaches negative infinity. And the same thing you can say for uh, the positive frequency. As, uh, as the frequency is in keep, keep increasing, the value on y-axis is, is increasing by 40 dB per decade slope. I hope that this is helpful in, in terms of understanding the body plot representation of the uh, using the example of the second order differentiator and uh, using uh, also understanding what we what we mean by saying 40 db per decade or in another example say 20 db per decade